Welcome to our video demonstration of Quick Surface. This demonstration is about uh, automatic surfaces of different objects and how Quick Surface handles this. We start with a very simple example like this organic shape and we just go to Auto Surface. At the moment there are a couple of parameters which we'll go through later but all you need to do in this moment is you just press preview. The auto surfacing is performed and you can see it on the screen. If you want to see a render it, you just press spacebar and you can see the shape. And as you can see, this is so beautiful layout that even a human cannot make. And when you're ready, you can just press OK and this becomes a, a normal freeform surface which can be edited. You can enter. You can turn off the snap mode and you can scare it or you can modify it in a different way so you can move it around and when you're happy you just uh, create your own shape. Let's take a look at the next a little bit more complex example like this one, how this will handle. And this is another dock which is uh, with a bigger number of um, triangles around 3 million and let's try again the auto surface now we see that there are a bit more details here so you can choose an option how the automatic surface can handle this by default it's set to balance which creates a normal surface or you can increase this and make it highest for example or uh, you have uh, four different level and i will just press preview just to say that this is a real-time demonstration, I'm not speeding up anything, so you can see how long it takes. Of course, we cannot uh, expect that it just uh, takes two seconds. It takes a while, but again, I would say this is uh, off-the-shelf computer, Pentium i7 with the 16 gigabytes of RAM and nothing really special. We don't have any requirements on the graphics card. It works on the most decent um, integrated cards and uh, other external cards. we we'll wait here. As you can see, this is a complex object. Still, it takes uh, a while, and but we will see now the results. I just want to mention that uh, another parameter is how many targets of quotes you would like to expect, but it doesn't mean that uh, the end result will be this number. The software automatically decides how, how many quotes he needs to generate, so at the end you see the end result into this uh, field. So now if you want to see the result, you just press spacebar and I put it quite a high resolution so that's why it captured a lot of details here as you can see uh, on the um, screen the layout is perfectly balanced and you can accept this I'll cancel this for now so I can show you a really high resolution uh, surface which we generated and how it captures the details and how easy it is to generate this of course, you can see that it's a solid body and you can export this in any um, CAD file format. Let's move to the next step. And this is another organic shape like this one. It's very simple. I will just remove this. We'll hide this result, something like this. And I will press preview. In this case, it's not too complex and it's a smaller object. And then again, you see the results. I didn't put a high resolution here, but you can play with this and you can see uh, what it will look like. You can see how it captures the features here, etc. Let's over the next example and it's uh, another object which may look familiar to some of you. See what our auto surface will do. I'll just leave the settings to default and we just uh, wait a little bit and to see what quick surface will do in this case again it doesn't depend too much on the number of triangles the um, automatic surfacing depends really on the complexity and these are the results nice and smooth 
and I would like to say that the um, resulting surface is uh, G2 continuous everywhere and G1 at the extraordinary point. Well, I will load an, uh, another example uh, for the medical applications like this one which uh, for the purposes of demonstration I pre-generated this and we take this curl let's look about the details here what it looks like and this is my result which I will just show on the screen I will press spacebar so you can see it rendered and this is a solid surface body containing um, a lot of um, NURB surfaces which can be exported in any CAD package another example is like um, sculpture work here again this is pre-generated to save time for this demonstration we're just uh, reconstructing surfaces and this is the the initial input and after setting um, our targeting to a highest resolution it just creates this body I'll right click and see properties it contains 60,000 uh, faces but it's good enough to get uh, understanding for you what the result is I will open the next demonstration file which is again a sculpture why it's powerful because it saves a lot of time and also it creates surfaces which you cannot create in any other way regardless if you want to make them uh, manually or automatically so this is our input file and then this is our result you can see it's uh, with the wireframe how it follows the shape you press spacebar and you can see the, um, the result the beauty here in our case is that even if it has some issues and it's not a solid body you can double click and you can use the standard tools to modify and improve your um, shape like you can select and you can isolate for, for faster visualization this selecting on the screen right click and isolate our and this is much smaller and you can focus and reach and then here you can use a, a normal tools to just uh, take a point move it around and then close the shape if needed again I will just hold out key will take this mm, in such a way you can close the the shape and create a, a solid body we'll move now to and you can continue doing this we can move now to the next uh, file which is uh, a mechanical let's see what uh, quick surface can offer you for the mechanical shapes in the um, more industrial design like this one for example of course you can recreate this with the different lofts and surfaces but let's see what auto surface will do I'll leave again the balanced and the medium resolution I'll press preview it takes a while and we need to wait because although it makes some magic it still needs time to generate its layout and uh, create these beautiful surfaces just uh, expect the result to come soon and this is how it creates our surface of the mechanical shape for example here we can see that the result may not be perfect and the good thing about um, quick surface is that this is editable you can just double click and you can hold control shift to create a brush tool which will smooth 
using the mouse wheel I just uh, created uh, smaller and now this is off so it, it smoothed everything but it's not on the mesh so I can use the function which is called snap on the mesh in such way I can keep my points always on, on my mesh and I can see the result and you can see that I can improve my shape but uh, automatic services helped me a l really a lot to get to this result which you can see on the screen let's move to another mechanical part like this here how it will handle this press press preview wait for a while in some software people say you need to work with a uh, less number of quotes but we don't agree too much with this because uh, quick surface can handle thousands of uh, quotes and with its um, optimized algorithm when we export into other packages uh, it's um, optimized them so we get a minimum number of patches for example here if you get something like this this is not a static result you can come you can hold out you can move your point and as you see we close the gap and now we can see we have our beautiful result okay there is a something artificial here I can come select it press the lead key and we are done so in such a way you can achieve your results in really short time another example let's see it's uh, like this mechanical watch I don't think that this is a good example for auto surfacing but for the purposes of demonstration I will see what it will do with this uh, type of object many people do expect that uh, the software can convert this into um, revolved surfaces and cylinders and planes in an automatic way unfortunately I don't think it's possible at this moment at least from our side so but let's see for a quick um, demonstration how the what the outcome of this result will be we wait a little bit it finalizes the shape and we see it on the screen at any point you can just press the tolerance display so you can see how far um, your object is from the reference mesh in this case I just set the 20 microns <coughs> expectations and you see the result I can press space to see the layout and you can see how it follows the feature lines and uh, what the auto surface is especially in this area and you press OK to accept the result let's move to the next example and it's uh, this bicycle helmet why I show this because uh, it took me around a uh, couple of hours for me to model this side of the, um, in the shape and uh, we will try to see how the auto surface will work mm -hmm. maybe now it's a good moment to say that this is a symmetrical object I'll just place it in the top view so you see that it's uh, there is a symmetry so in this case it's good to use the symmetry option uh, for automatic surfaces I will just choose which plane is my symmetry plane it, uh, the plane is shown on the screen for the user to understand uh, better what uh, which plane will define the symmetry in our case is this bottom plane and I will leave these parameters you can play yourself and I press preview and we wait for a while and let's see what auto surface will do in comparison with what I have done manually I would say that with our experiments um, we have never experienced um, generation for more than five minutes on any complex object so I can zoom the results now I can turn off the symmetry because it's done and this is my result this is uh, I'll turn the coordinate system on this is my result hide the mesh and 
you can see yourself how well it fits the the surface if I mm, place it in top view I will just uh, rotate you see that there is a perfect symmetry of the quote and which you can use later <coughs> for in your design or printing etc um, we'll move to another example of a mechanical part like this one let's take a look I will just create an auto surface very quickly for the demonstration I know some people would say yes but this is uh, can needs to be designed with a perfect sh um, shapes like extrusion draft extrusion fillet etc but I'm demonstrating this uh, on purpose first of all to see how it will look like on um, auto surface model as you see it handles quite well and I press OK now some people will say well this is good but I want a perfect cylinder here this is not what I expect I need to fit this in assemblies or milling so let's try to do something here I will just use the uh, normal selection of uh, quick surface which is uh, in curvature sensitive and then I will press OK and I will create a cylinder now when I have this cylinder, Quick Surface offers uh, some uh, tools to um, improve this and create a hybrid model. What I need to do is just double click on Auto Surface and I enter it in it, uh, Edit Mode. Now I need to keep the cylinder visible on the screen because uh, our function, which is called Offset by Reference Surfaces, uses all the visible elements on the screen and uh, compensates the auto surface the generated um, freeform surface for the purposes of trimming and I'll, I'm ready to do this I'll just select my function and it asks you for a tolerance tolerance is how close my um, points of the freeform surface are close to the primitive so it can be offset in this case 0.5 millimeter is okay and I press OK what we see here now is that uh, it um, finds the points and actually push them outward the surface so this can be used for trimming I'll press close and now when I have these two elements I will just uh, select my uh, freeform surface I will select the scene in there and then I choose trim the trim is initialized and at that moment you see that our algorithm converts all the preformed surface into a large nerve patches which are optimized in such a way the minimum number and uh, much easier to be handled in any other cut package in this case I can use just uh, clicking on the screen to trim this or I will reset the trim I can use our automatic trimming tool which uh, uses the reference mesh and some coverage algorithms to define which uh, um, trimmed uh, sections need to be thrown away when I am ready I just press OK the trimmed surface um, joins all the remaining um, surfaces and it um, creates uh, our hybrid model as you can see now we have this uh, as a cylinder which can be exported and uh, used and also we have the rest as a freeform surface of course you can always because it's a parametric you can come and you can modify the radius of the cylinder set it to what you want when you press ok everything will be rebuilt and the new model will be reconstructed i hope you like this demonstration and thank you for watching